Speaking of Turo, our next guest isn't really a magician at all, is he? No, he's not. But he's a master of one of the most important skills in magic. Digital dexterity, or as he calls it, finger fitness. So please welcome Greg Irwin. We can't wait to see this. What is finger fitness? Well, finger fitness is very simple. It's an exercise program isolating the normal movements of the hand. For instance, if you put your hands together, one of the most simple movements of the hand is simply folding the fingers back and forth. All right? Now, but isolation is such a key. So by isolating just one at a time and then developing a little bit faster, <laughs> Amazing. This is uh, folding your fingers two at a time. Uh, you can also, for instance, go every other finger, like that. Uh, or leave one up and go down the rest, like this. It's simply learning how to isolate the individual fingers and build strength and dexterity. A good way to loosen up, for instance, is another yes. one. This is what I call the wave. You start off very simply by making a fist, and one finger comes out at a time, followed mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't look much here, but if you start speeding it up just a bit, this is where, that's why I call it the wave, like that. <laughs> How long have you been a finger expert? Well, I started about 10 years ago to actually help me play the piano. It started off very simple. I just started to see if I could bend one finger at a time, for instance. And like, mm. uh, this is, kind of looks like, I guess, windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> this is like splitting, natural movement, splitting. Mm. So once you can split your fingers like this, that's not too bad. Oh. Now, now if I switch one, for instance, without the other, now they become opposite to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so subtle. That, it definitely helps your fingers loosen up. And then if you cross through with an opposite, for instance, do it like that and there's different ways you can move it around. And then also, if you like, you can bend your fingers <laughs> and split your fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 too much. Oh, and, and then actually being, being able to cross through movements like this, for instance, just like that. Well, I've never seen anything like it. There's another, another ways you can yes. loosen up, for instance, uh, this, just putting your fingers, pushing on one side and relaxing, then pushing mm -hmm. on the other. And this is a real good exercise to loosen do you, do you up your have, fingers. Do you give a name to every exercise that oh, you Oh, well, invented? this kind of, I guess, looks like a five-legged octopus. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Octopus. This must be very useful for the magicians. Oh, yes. Magicians. Yes. So uh, it's like you bet you're very good in shuffling cards and... Uh, well, actually, I don't do a lot of card shuffling yeah. myself, but there's another thing you can do, and I call that finger shuffling. Mm -hmm. For instance, okay, if you then. take a fist, maybe, right. maybe you can try this. If you take a fist, and then the other hand is simply flat, and you put it across the front. And then what you do is if you pull your hands apart, now tuck in your first finger and bring your other finger out. Now put yes. them back together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's the first step. Now the next one, you simply tuck the next, bring Two. it out, yes. and start to shuffle down. And then with a little bit of speed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, can you teach us something? Yes, yes, sure. So this, is, this is kind of a fun one. If you if you like yes. to take a pencil, maybe. Mm -hmm. And like I said, sitting in class, I kind of got bored myself. So I, this is what I call pencil push-ups. If you take the pencil mm -hmm. and put your fingers on every other side like that. Oh. Now, the trick is to simply switch one at a time. <laughs> if you can hold it, I think. I can't even now, hold switch it. the first one, the yes. second, third, and fourth. And you oh. just go back and forth like that. Yes. Well, that's kind of it. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I really can't. That one's tough. Are there any special exercises that you have to do to keep this up? Well, actually, like I said, uh, just every day, practicing a few minutes, just a little bit every day, and that's where, you know, my, all my exercises have actually a program. I bet you prepare something very special for us tonight. Well, actually, I have a, a special thing called mm -hmm. finger ballet which is putting the movements of the hand together with music. It's kind of a new art form, finger yes, ballet. Well, listen, right. Greg, we've got a little theater ready for you. So oh. if you want to go over to it and get your costume on, we'll give you the right introduction. Great. Thank you. All right? Thank you. See you in a moment. And now, for the first time on British television, will you please welcome Greg Irwin and the finger ballet.
naik 